KSN Zach Martin caught up with a Wichita-born Ukrainian English teacher who has now, Zach, escaped the war-torn uh, country there. You have the latest on his uh, situation. Yeah, Jeff, when speaking with Mickey Caesar earlier today from the safety of Berlin, Germany, he seemed much more relaxed, and it's a feeling that had become foreign after nearly a week of trying to escape Ukraine, an escape that had some truly terrifying moments. I was on the train five minutes before the train's supposed to leave when there are explosions. The longest five minutes of my life, Zach, was after those explosions, waiting for the train to start. <laughs> Once Mickey was able to get out of Kyiv via train, he made his way to the western part of the country in the city of Lviv. From there, he went to the Ukrainian-Polish border before eventually being able to catch a ride to Berlin, Germany. Even though they live in Frankfurt, they drove me all the way to my friend's place in Berlin, and I'm here. Once in Berlin, Mickey says he slept for 17 hours. Just having arrived uh, so, so stressed and shattered, and with with nothing while relieved mickey is also heartbroken for the place he had called home for the last decade it's entering a horrible phase because the russians can't can't beat the ukrainian army face to face so now that now they're starting to attack civilian civilian populations but the chance of returning to ukraine is still out there the will of the ukrainian people is is just amazing and i do still have some hope of, of going back, going back to Kiev. Uh, I, I, I don't know when exactly and how long it's going to take. Mickey says Berlin is disorienting for him right now because of two reasons. One, because he never expected to have to find refuge in a foreign country. And two is that life is still somewhat normal in Germany, a stark difference from what he saw in his Kiev apartment over the past two weeks. Here for you, Zach Martin, KSN News 3.